Hello, this is McTag from Fly Carpet, and I'm going to go on ahead and show you how to tie McTag's leather trouser worm. This is a very productive carp fly. It's a version of the worm that rides hook up, falls hook up, and sits on the bottom in a headstand pose. It starts with a Tiemco 2457 caddis hook, 2x wide, 2x short, 2x heavy. All right, the curved shape of the hook is the first element in creating the unique action and headstand properties of this fly. All right. Now I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of pinching the barb and adding a 3.25 millimeter tungsten bead. I put my tungsten beads on backwards for three reasons. First of all, it lets it sit further forward on the hook shank. Second of all, it makes it much easier to build a thread dam behind the bead. And third of all, I put my tungsten on backwards and my brass beads on forwards and that way I can easily tell which is which on the water. And I need to quickly switch weights. Okay, I've gone ahead and locked that bead down. Now I'm going to figure eight in some large bead chain. I will vary the size of the bead chain and the size of the tungsten bead and occasionally even skip the bead in order to fish different levels of current. Okay, as you can see I've got a little bit of a gap in between the bead and the eyes. That creates a fulcrum effect that assists in the headstand and gives it a very unique action as it swims through the water. And that's another key point. This fly can actually be quite productive being swum or stripped, not just sitting there or in a dead drift. For the next step, I'm going to tie in an 8 inch long length of 15 pound red amnesia. Red amnesia, red amnesia has very interesting properties under the water. It tends to glow a little bit. Have an orangish reddish glow, particularly in the sunlight. It's a little bit of an attractor. Alright. Next, I've taken the liberty of preparing one and a quarter inch long red rabbit strip. I've given it a buzz cut down to about an eighth inch long and put a small triangle taper on each end. Okay, so we're going to go on ahead and tie this on so that the grain of the fur runs backwards and we're going to just tie in the very tip of that triangle taper. And really, the only reason we're tying it in with the thread at all is to keep it from sliding out from underneath the amnesia. The amnesia is what we're going to use to actually lock it to the hook shank. And that serves a very important purpose. Amnesia is nice and thick. If you tie down the leather with the thread, it tends to cut the leather. And, you know, after an hour or two of fishing, maybe even sooner than that, the thread will go on ahead and cut through the leather. The amnesia will not cut through the leather. As a matter of fact, it's not uncommon for me to fish one of these flies for multiple days in a row. It's a very tough fly. Very bulletproof. I'm going ahead and just wrap the amnesia forward all the way down the hook shank. behind the eyes. Capture it once or twice with your thread. Bring it forward. Lock it down a few more times and trim it off. Quick finished. I'm paranoid. I quit finished.
finish twice, probably a waste of time. And trim. 